Welcome to part one, creating your BI Builder dashboard in Bittrex 24 by Interface. I am Andy Naylor, Head of Customer Success here at Interface. And we are Bittrex 24 Gold Partners, providing implementation, customization, training and support. So today I'm going to show you how to utilize some of the existing dashboards within the BI Builder in Bittrex and how you can start off by creating your own BI Builder dashboard to report on data from within your CRM. So let's jump into Bittrex and in the left hand menu, we can click on BI Builder. When we do so, you will see all of the default dashboards that come with Bittrex. And if you want to explore those, then you can simply just choose the one that you would like to go into. So if I was to click on comparative sales analysis, that would show you a pre-built dashboard and you can start to utilize this straight out of the box. If you wanted to make any modifications to this, you would need to make a copy of this dashboard because you cannot edit a core dashboard that Bittrex comes with. So if I was to click on edit, it will prompt me and tell me this. So a copy of this dashboard will be created so that you can edit it as required. And therefore you've always got the default core dashboard to go back to should you ever need to. So if I was to click on continue, what will happen here is it will add it to the top of my dashboard list. So if I come back up to here, you can see once this refreshes, this will appear at the top on here. And I can click into it and then I can click on edit and make any changes to any of the widgets, to any of the filters down the left hand side. I can add additional widgets to this and I can take widgets off simply by clicking on edit. And that will be explored later in the BI Builder training series. So what I like to do first of all is categorize my dashboards that I create with a specific tag. This removes all of the dashboards that you might not want to use going forward. And you can simply add a tag by clicking on here, typing in a new tag, or clicking on an existing one. Doing that allows you to create filters up at the top. So I can click onto here, and I've actually saved my demonstration tag filter. And as you'll be able to see, it makes it quite a nice way of viewing the dashboards that you have created. So that's how we can utilize and edit the existing dashboards that come with Bittrex. But in this particular demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create a dashboard yourself. So on the create button, click on the down arrow and click on new dashboard. And then in here, I would put uh, inquiry dashboard in here. And then the scope, I'm going to use CRM. But if you were creating a dashboard from, for example, the tasks, you can click on the task scope and then you will have obviously access to any data that is within the tasks module. I'm going to click on CRM because my inquiry dashboard is going to solely focus on the lead area of Bittrex. Parameters are quite useful if you would like to select the current user who is viewing the dashboard itself. This makes the dashboard dynamic. So if, for example, myself, if I was to come and view the dashboard that I'm creating at the minute, we can use that parameter in the dashboard filters to filter out, for example, all of the new inquiries that that particular user has received. This is quite good because then you can make your own personal dashboard dynamic by whoever is looking at the particular dashboard. I'll leave that in there and we can click on save. Now, once it's been created, it will be in the draft status. 
Again, I would like to tag it as demonstration just for best practice purposes so it's nice and clear. And then, as I say, it's currently in draft. If you ever want to publish it and make it available, we can click on publish here. We can also set the permissions of who has access to this particular dashboard by clicking on the settings area and specifying additional people within this dashboard. We can also look at the general access permissions whilst we're in the BI Builder set area and click on access permissions here. And then that allows you to dictate who can create new dashboards and edit existing ones. So let's click into my inquiry dashboard. And then in the top right hand corner, we can click on edit because obviously it starts with no charts on the dashboard at the moment. Now, what we want to do is we first of all want to just have a quick review of the data sets that are available in Bittrex. Now, my inquiries dashboard is going to use the data that is inside the leads module. So what I can do in my name, I can just search for lead, click on enter, and you'll be able to see the lead data sets that already exist. So the CRM lead is where all of the core CRM data sits. We have any products that are associated to the lead. We have the status history. We have the sources of the lead to deal. And again, we have the KPIs for converting leads to deals as well. I'm going to use the data set for leads, so CRM lead. But just to make you aware that the CRM lead data set only contains the core fields. And those are the fields that come with Bittrex. So if you've created any custom fields, then I would recommend watching part two of this BI Builder series to be able to create an SQL query to join the CRM lead table with the CRM custom field lead table. And that comes in part two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that data set for CRM lead and I'm going to create my first chart. So to do that, I click into charts and I can click on add chart here. So as I say, I want to use the CRM underscore lead data set. And then I can choose what type of chart that I would like to use. Now, this we can change this whilst we're modifying what data is displaying inside the chart. I'm just going to select a number to start off with and then click on create new chart. Now, the first thing that when you do this, you should name it. So I could say, for example, number of leads. And then in here, we need to have a metric. OK, so the metric is the number value. And when we use the data set CRM lead, you can see all of the metrics available to you. Now, what I want to do is I want to have the number of leads. So I'm going to drag and drop that into the metric in here. And then if I was to click on create chart, we'll be able to see a preview of the number widget and the number of leads. Now in here, we can see that we've got a filter. So at the minute we have a filter for date create. What I might want to do is I might want to look at all of the available standard fields that live inside Bittrex. So for example, I might want to select source name. So in here, I just search source name and drop it into the filter. Now I can either make it equal to a particular source name. So to do that, I can come out of here, go into our CRM and have a look inside the leads module. So once that loads up, I'll be able to click into a lead and look at the available source. So in here, I'll click this field and click on source 
and bring it in. And then in here, I'm going to have a look at, for example, call. So we want to have in our filter, we want to have all of the leads that have come from a source with call and click on save. And then what I could probably rename it to number of leads from call in here. So we're fixing the filter in here, but we're not fixing the date. You can see that it's got no filter. That would allow me then to add a filter to the dashboard. So I'll update the chart and it's likely that we would have uh, none at the minute. But what I can do is then save it, number of leads from calls, and I can add it to our dashboard in here. So if we were called inquiry dashboard, which is the one that I've just created, and I'm going to click save. Now, if I come back to my dashboard in here, what we should be able to see is the number of leads from calls widget. So that's the first widget that we'll create. If I click back onto edit, and then back into my charts, I'm going to create one more chart in here. And again, I'm going to use the CRM lead. And then I'm going to use a bar chart and click on create. Now, what I want to do is I want to have the number of, sorry, the number of leads in my metrics and the X axis, I want to have responsible person here. So you can see I want the actual responsible person name. So I'm going to type in responsible. And you can see in here, we have responsible person name. So if I was to drop that in the X axis, and again, if we click on create chart, what we should be able to see there is the number of leads per responsible person. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the date create in the filter. But what I might want to do in here is maybe I want to know how many leads that have been won by each individual person. So in here, I can click, let me just check the filter for one. So let me click on successful leads, contact completed in here. So if I go back to my type in stage and I can see stage name and it's equal to contact completed. Click on save and I can update the chart here and that would give me the amount of one leads per responsible person. So if I said one leads per sales agent, click into here, find my inquiry dashboard that I'm using, and then click save and go to dashboard. And then what I can do is I can start to modify what this looks like. So if I click back into my dashboard and click on edit, I can then make this a bit bigger. I can make this a bit smaller. And if I was to have another number widget, for example, I could therefore stack that underneath here and I could make that one like this. And as you go, you can stop, obviously start to build up these specific widgets. Now, if I click on the arrows and I want to include a specific filter, maybe I want a responsible person or maybe I want to have the date range. In here, I can have, let's say a time range column date created, because I know that that's the filter that I'm using in each of my widgets. Click into save. That would therefore add my date created in here. I can add a custom range. So in here, I can say specific date and time, specific date and time. So I could say, show me all of the leads in the last 10 months. Click on apply click on apply filters, and then that would change the dynamics of what this data is showing. And you can see on each widget, the date created is applied to both widgets. If I wanted to include another, and let's just say, for example, I have a value, and in here, I'm going to search for responsible. Let me have a look. 
in here. So I think it's assigned by name in here. So you just need to do know, you do need to know the names of the fields. But it is quite clear when you do the chart itself, you, you could see that the actual ID of the field was assigned by name. And you can therefore see that if I wanted to drill down and add Andy, click on apply, then that would only show me the information from Andy. So you can start to build out additional filters within the dashboard. Now, once you're happy with it, I've obviously saved it in here. It automatically saves. And if I come out and just give this a refresh, which it's going to do, what you would have to always remember to do to finish off is click on publish. That will mean that it's now accessible for the people who you granted access to. I can click on inquiry dashboard in here and I can utilize the filters that I've created and I can see the live sets of data. So that's the first part of how you can create your own BI Builder dashboard using the pre-built data sets. In part two, we're going to cover how we can start to report on custom fields that are linked to either leads, deals, contacts, or companies. So it gets a little bit more advanced, but once you understand how to do that, then the BI Builder opens up another avenue to report on your data in Bittrex. So thank you very much for watching. Please get in touch for a full demonstration or to find out more about this and other solutions, please go to interface.com slash solutions. Thank you very much and bye for now.